personal sharing time uh, never tell uh, the public what happened uh, to me in, in this level I felt like this video is meaningful enough for me to do this I don't know whether I'm gonna cry or not How are you? Is everything okay? Once again, it's about year end. Have you started to check your optimistic resolution checklist? Me, I don't. I set it at the very beginning of the year, but I don't keep it anymore because 2020 is a really, really special gap year for me. 2020 has been a really tough year for many of us. Some, they lost their job. Like for me, I lost my full-time job for more than half a year so i totally understand how you feel right now and some may face educational delays or even some they have lost their beloved ones so it's okay to not be okay yeah. hashtag the okay tupper. and we mgag just want to let you know you are not alone for this year instead of worrying over our resolution checklist why not we take some time and appreciate ourselves you see we all did a great job we're still here surviving and greeting even though 2020 has been challenging for us frankly speaking it's never easy to find goodness in the midst of devastating states hence we have to encourage ourselves and also the others i truly believe that every one of us would have our long long stories of 2020 to tell so do you want to share yours with us and be the NGAC lucky draw winners okay, i just don't want this video to be a really uh, sentimental one so i'm trying my best to be perky a little bit <laughs> be the funny one angry one sentimental one or motivational one we are all here to listen and you never know there may be someone else who really needs the stories to inspire them to ignite their hearts minds and souls the all malaysian storytellers what you need to do is to write a letter to yourself with the title of dear me in 2020 it's like a reflection of the year of 2020 tell us what you have gained learned or even lost take a time to talk to yourself in the letters with your own tones and styles feel free to share with us anything meaningful in your life you can also attach pictures and if you want to record yourself in a video feel free to send to us and we'll watch it together okay and you'll be featured in mgag's next video as well Mm. You may write it using email or if you prefer the old traditional way You may write it on letter paper, snap a picture of it and send it to us Please send it to hello at mgag.my Hello at mgag.my With the subject title as Dear Me in 2020 Don't write anything else <laughs> Before Sunday, 13th of December 2020 Don't forget to include your name as well Because we want to feature you in our year-end show We'll make another video to read out randomly picked love letters from you all <laughs> Not really love letters, but the letters from you all And also reveal 5 of the MGAC lucky winners Can't wait to read your letters Hashtag the okay tupper. Maybe you have no idea how to even start the letter So here are some of the examples of our letters to ourselves For your reference Prepare a tissue and popcorns And watch it Dear Charlotte, how have you been? I hope you're doing just fine. But it's okay to not be okay. It has been a tough year for everyone, and even for you. To make you feel better, here are some of the highs and lows that happened this year. Firstly, you celebrate a Chinese New Year with your friends and family before MCO happens. You have a place to stay and food to eat when the pandemic hits. You have a job when there are people that were being laid off or is struggling to make ends meet. You develop hives and eczema this year, not cold. You can't go back to Sarawak to celebrate Gawa with your family, which is very sad, but it's okay. There's always next year. You have friends checking in on you every now and then, lots of video calls and game night sessions. You celebrated your birthday with friends and family, so happened as you always lived it. You kind of broke your phone and lost every data. You were very upset because you lost two years worth of photos without having any backup. But you happened to make new friends. You went on a trip with your friends, although you had to cancel all of your overseas trips this year. You went back to Strawa and spent time with your friends and family. And you're going back again very soon for Christmas. You sprained your fingers while playing basketball. Last but not least, you have a lot of friends that cares about you. 
This year may not be the best, but it's also not too bad. Cause after all, you are loved by so many, and things will definitely get better. It may be stormy now, but it never rains forever. Love, Charlotte. We were supposed to write letters, but I didn't print it down or write it on paper, so I got it on my phone. And I have a paper, so it's like it's, it's like it's like reading from a letter, right? Yeah, big brain. Ah. Dear me, 2020, it has been the craziest year in your life. And looking back, you were one tough dude. You had to give birth. Okay, like not give birth, but help your wife. I remember you were denied entry to see your own child due to COVID. Okay, like I did, so I didn't really help. Then one day I couldn't see the child. It was quite sad, but. I just complied with the nurse lab. And then I got myself tested. I waited outside the hospital for a while and there was no news. But yeah, I um, went back at night. Luckily, after a day, you got a call from the hospital and they told you you were negative. That was amazing news because one, that meant I was COVID free. The other thing is now I can finally see my child. For the next few days, you have to stay back at the hospital so that the doctors can check on the baby and make sure everything was okay. Don't forget to mention that it was during the fasting month. Most shops closed around 6 30. One of the days, I went down the canteen at the hospital. It was closed at 6.15, like, why well, so early? And then, you haven't eaten the whole day. <sighs> but, got one cadaver jade was open. I got myself some snacks, maybe coffee in the tin, like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. got kurma. <laughs> Yusuf Tayo. Yusuf Tayo. You should feel very grateful though, for that you were able to work from home more often this year. Even after MCO, and also during CMC. You got to spend more time with your kid and your family, even though it is more tiring. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna deny that. It was tired. Ugh. You should appreciate the time that you have with them and never dismiss them. I guess that's a good lesson. You might feel like, oh, it's so tiring. Everyone is here. But it's such a good thing when everyone is here, we're all together. We can spend more time together. I do feel very grateful for that. It makes me realize that I don't want to miss out on family. That's what I learned, I guess, from 2020. How's your 2020? 2020, it's been a weird year, definitely a really weird year. There's a lot of people who were in a bad place are right now in an even worse place. It's safe to say that it's been a really tough year for everyone. It has affected a lot of people. Some people lost everything, lost their jobs, their family, friends, loved ones. This house was not supposed to be that lonely. Nothing much has really happened, honestly. It's just because of one incident of a virus spreading and the whole world now is change. <clears throat> Moving forward from this, I suppose is to be that change. Be a good change for yourself and be a good change for the people around you. <laughs> be kind, altruistic, love and give. <sighs> be the reason for the betterment of someone else's life. I believe that we really need that right now. So yeah, um, write to us. You never know, your words may inspire people, may spark the joy of people. Together, let's make Malaysia stay a better one. Dear me and to all, to all, what a year. It's really what a year. I uh, have this habit of journaling. This is my tool tool journal. It's a very peculiar feeling to read the first page. And I just thought of sharing it with you guys. And oh, before that, people that know me know that I practice law of attraction. Some people might think that I'm a bit too obsessed of it or maybe a little bit crazy. Maybe I am, but it works for me. It's really something that I believe. In. How law attraction works is you have to be grateful for things that you have or you want to have Like you have to be thankful for things that you wish to receive as if you already have it The way that I write journal is always in this format that I say thank you for something that I wish for Hope that it is what it is and the universe will provide to me this is the journal that I wrote on the first day of 2020 before everything uncovered. Thank you, thank you, thank you for a good year. A year with abundance of happiness, health, peace and wealth. A year that makes me more grounded. A year with magical moments that remind me it's beautiful to be alive, to be me, to be loved. Thank you universe, you have been so good to me. Love. Mia, 1st of January 2020 <laughs> Oh, Sammy, I just realized I have my little fan on right now I don't know whether 
the noise got disturbed you or not, let me off it. Back to the point that a year that makes me more grounded, a year with magical moments that remind me that it's beautiful to be alive. It's so real, like it, it really did happen. Um, we are in the last month of 2020. Everything that has happened this year has been so crazy, but at the same time, so humbling and forced. I'm pretty sure everyone. For me, it's, it's really a time to reset a lot of how I think, behave, treat myself, care for myself, how I treat others, care for others. This is really the year that it felt like the universe just sort of like throw me into the situation like Nalunna. <laughs> So that's what I view and I am thankful still like I feel like the universe it really delivered me a year that that makes me stronger makes me more at peace I have a lot of thoughts I think a lot about life world society success failure about people underprivileged people in privilege a lot of thoughts because we are in quarantine right and I stay alone so it just forced me to be alone with my thoughts so I get all the time in the world to think about all all the things that perhaps I had no time to think about in previous year. This whole journal, I fill it up with all my random thoughts. I think about 70% of it is really heartfelt moments that I felt upset and some of them maybe I cried. And I finished it in August <laughs> or September. So there's really a lot of thoughts in it and I grew so so much this year. So hear me in Zuoto, good job. I'm proud of myself, definitely. And there's still so much to learn. There's still so many people that requires our help collectively. What we need to do, what I feel is on an individual level, we have to get ourselves ready, fight the battle or to be a voice for certain things. It has to start from us. If everyone also gone through the same process, we are all aware, we know we are all woke. <laughs> all together, we can change the world. Like legit, this is what I feel. A note to myself and a note to everyone, I hope that whatever that we all learn in this year, quarantine, lost, don't forget what we learn. I think I don't even have to tell you what I learned because I'm pretty sure we all learn almost the same thing. I hope that I will always remember this. Remember to be kind to myself and to everyone else. To put human first, not money, not fame. And I hope this stay. I hope that we will bring whatever lessons that we learn in March into 2021 with that knowledge. We might have greater battles to fight in 2021, honestly. <laughs> I just, I'm optimistic by nature. I also don't like to sugarcoat things. I know it's end of the year, everyone will be like, okay, 2021 will be a better year, you know, and whatnot. But honestly, we have been saying that since 2016. <laughs> Every year, every day, next year, gonna be a better year. And then, the next year happen. I know hope is very important but I also feel like it's the time that we have to change a mindset and say you know even though 2021 might suck I don't know hopefully no uh, don't want a law of attraction in. but even 2021 is not as expected as it will be it's okay because now we are stronger now we can we can go through it if I want to think as a way that how universe prepares us is perhaps we we might still continue, we'll have struggle. You need some time at home, you know? Reconnect with yourself, reconnect with family, reconnect with loved ones. I'm preparing you for something, okay? I don't know what the universe has for us. We're gonna be okay. I really think that as long as we remember what we learned this year and don't get distracted, don't get drowned by other people's opinions, those that didn't learn, we keep on our own track and collectively I think we will that's my hope for 2021. Personal sharing time. Never tell the public what happened to me in, in this level. I felt like this video was meaningful enough for me to do this. I started off the year pretty tough already, even without COVID, even without MCO. In February, I broke up from a three-year relationship. It was heartbreaking. That incident alone, it's key event of 2020 already. <laughs> Without COVID MCO, as I was recovering, trying to find my food again in life, then the COVID cases started to rise. And I'm still in such a shaky mood. And I was like, oh wow, what was what, happening? And it's also the first year that I managed the team as an official general manager of MGAG. <laughs> so it is 
havoc. I'm like, oh, heartbreak. And then I have to manage the team with this thing that no one knows how to handle. I don't have a book that I can I can read how to survive all this coronavirus uh, quarantine thing. No one knows. Just bombarded with one news after another and then one day suddenly MCO announced then 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 we have, we all have to rush home and then I stay alone. So in some weird odd way I felt like the universe want me to be single for a while. <laughs> I've not been single for a long time. I've always you know have boyfriends uh, never been single for more than three months because MCO started and no one goes out dating. Wow we can we can do virtual dating but I don't like it. I, I don't buy that thing. I feel super awkward. I can't do it. So I just like okay well if this is what you want universe I'm gonna give it to you. So I use the whole months of MCO to really realign with myself, relearn how to very cringe but relearn how to love myself and be at peace with myself and be happy alone with myself without someone else physically. Of course my family it's super super supportive. My mom, my dad, my, my sister, my brother, my friends also, they are super super good good. And I think everyone felt a lot this year is you realize that actually nothing is more important than your family and your loved ones. Even more so to me is because it's double like after heartbreak and then MCO started. It has been a year. <laughs> I think if I go back to like January and then and then say to myself that this is gonna happen, I think just like everyone else is like, no, you wish it me, not gonna happen. <laughs> so, so yeah, what a year, and um, I'm glad that we we made it. Um, but I know there's still a lot of people in pain, suffering. I will always include you guys in my prayers. I hope everyone in whatever situation that you are happy and healthy and I hope everyone including myself whatever that we can help we offer help money wise or, or, or physical health or, or even just a kind word financially it's tough for everyone so, so I don't want to put pressure on people as well that that you have to help people with money it doesn't have to be that way first thing is take care of ourselves again i'm thankful i'm very grateful always for all the love all the challenges that i received this year made me who i am today and i know the universe will take care of us <sighs> let's do this we got this we got this guys okay done bye bye <laughs> Alright, I don't want to make this video too long so I'm not going to share with you my own stories of 2020 <laughs> So I'll see you guys in the next one and also I'm waiting for your letters mm. Hashtag the okay double Bye bye Ha ha Sammy, this fan Before I turn it out, it didn't disturb your audio but the whole thing is shaky <laughs> Thank you Sammy for, for editing this video I'm next to a window Sometimes got train or pass by. Uh, I have to sit here because it's six o'clock. They're losing light, so um, so I have to sit next to the window. So I hope the lighting is fine for you, lah. Huh? <laughs> like Ping Zi right now talking to you <laughs> over the camera.